ani tashi dele te kena lafsha ne kare injin lawa chillo ko mi shira mido mido ani tani monje chingo jire ne amji nimatri la ani nima darim sane meje ko ne to re ani de san danda ke ani ani lopchi sori pa international college nepal gi ani lopchi re ani tada shimba ke ani dada ke ani Tibet Medicine Center, ni Kedman Dugi, ni tanda Secretary General appointed cecure, ni tiga lain sienda, ni isu gua mandu, ni ane ngusu tanda, ni tamshi tengku sayi, tu je. Tu je kuno nyobe, cuma dengan senjata tu bang, anda tuh nyobe, tu sini saya sange mengelak, punya bela cah celo. Uh, with homage to Medicine Buddha, uh, uh, respected all the Swaripa practitioners and teachers, students, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, it's my great honor to be part of this great gathering. And also, I would like to uh, thank you so much to the organizers because uh, uh, to giving me this wonderful opportunity to talk about the, the development of Swaripa in Nepal. Tadi ringi kugab di Yuni tanda tangga tu kudis orang ki nama soliya mixer ki tujuh sih ini tadi ringi kugab di nama tu lah. Tadi ringi tangga rangi kita sih ki tu jusi di tangga tu payu nahl ya sorry beki tim tuh ki nebab kandis sih lalai yore sih di ini. So before. To talk, uh, before I talk about the main topic, uh, I would like to uh, talk, uh, say a little bit about the Nepal. Uh, so Nepal, uh, officially, it's called a Federal Democratic Republic of uh, Nepal. So Nepal is a landlocked country uh, <coughs> in South Asia. Uh, it's located in Himalaya with an estimated population of 26.4 uh, uh, million, uh, which, is, uh, which is the 48 uh, largest country in terms of population, and also uh, 93rd uh, largest country in terms of the area. And it is, uh, it's, border in t uh, it's border to Tibet in the north, and south is west with the India. While the Bangladesh is located in within uh, 27 kilometer with its uh, southern tip of uh, tip, and also Bhutan is also uh, separated from Nepal uh, with the Indian state of uh, uh, Sikkim. Also, uh, also it's a Himalayan state. Nepal is a Himalayan state, and Nepal has a diverse geography, uh, including the fertile plains, also the subalpine forest hills and also the eight of the world's uh, tallest hills uh, and also uh, was also included in Nepal, including the, the Mount Everest, which is the highest peak of the world. Uh, Kathmandu is a national capital city and also uh, it's uh, one of the largest country in Nepal. Uh, Nepal is a multi-ethnic nation with the Nepali as the, the main language of the country. The name Nepal, it basically it basically record in, uh, recorded in the text of the Vedic age, uh, the era which found the Hinduism, uh, Hinduism, which is the predominant religion in the country. So this is all about Nepal. Nepal ki So to talk about the the Swaripa uh, prospectus or Swaripa, you know development in Nepal. So uh, historically speaking, uh, it was a, uh, uh, Swaripa was a very vibrant in, in, in Nepal, particularly in the Himalayan regions. So during the time of the first seminar in Samya, so the, these two, you know, Nepali uh, representative, they have participated in the first Congress. Like uh, in case of the Dolbo, we have a Tumuruzi, and in case of the Nepal itself, there's a, you know, Dhammashila. So, it's a very historical impact that you know uh, these two 
scholars have also participated in the first sem seminar since we are having the third sem uh, seminar here. And also, uh, <coughs> in, in particularly in the Himalayan regions like Dolpo and Mustang, the Swaranipa was practiced for many centuries. And but uh, but it, but also it really helps the the you know the. The, it really serves the purpose of the health in terms of, uh, you know, it's a, it's a remote area. So because of that, the Nepali government also have uh, supported in certain extent, uh, particularly the, uh, in early 1970s, uh, the Nepal rural development, uh, having, uh, you know, know that the, the in, in terms of the rural area like Mustang and Dolbos, so the modern medicine cannot really reach there because of its, uh, you know, the, because of its location and because of its uh, uh, high altitude. And even though uh, there are several, uh, the, you know, the uh, modern medicines, but during, in, especially during the winter time, so they cannot really survive in those areas. So Swarupa practitioners are the real healers who really serve the, the purpose of those to that uh, particular regions. So uh, because of that, uh, the Nepal rural development, they have really, uh, you know, uh, so because of those reasons, they have uh, conducted so many uh, uh, upgraded work workshops and also seminars to improve the educational qualities and the practice of the rural uh, development. And also, if you look, uh, also in, in, also as it, also it, uh, as it was mentioned in the Gushi, uh, you know, Dolbu Yudu Targa so it was clearly mentioned in, in Gushi itself, where it says that, you know, the bloodletting was mainly introduced in the place of Dolpo, which was presently, it's a, it's a Nepalian, you know, state. So because of these reasons, you know, because, these, because of these historical reasons, one could know that uh, Nepal was, the, the, you know, the, uh, is a very important place where Swarupa was uh, practiced for many centuries. So uh, being the, in the course of, time being the change of the, the you know uh, time so it's very important that the Swarupa should be also introduced in other you know urban cities so uh, so in 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 that regard so uh, after 1970s uh, the clinics have been established started established so among them the the Queen Pen Devan Medical Center which was located in Kathmandu. This is the first uh, Tibetan medical center in Kathmandu. It was founded by uh, Kusang Pentok, in short, Kun Pen, so he named after himself. And also, uh, he was a uh, uh, student of late Kiram, Kiram Norbu. And also, uh, this is a very interesting thing, is that he stayed more of his, he stayed later part of his life in Kathmandu and established this clinic. So this is actually the first clinic. Then he went back to Tibet. Then also he have uh, established another big medical uh, you know, industry called the Fadil uh, Soda, uh, which was uh, one of the, the, you know, the biggest pharmaceutical company or pharmaceutical manufacturer in Tibet, but particularly in the Tibet Autonomous Region. Then after that, uh, so this is a branch clinic of Quinpen. Which was in which is there in the so the main uh, clinic was in Chatarbati in the heart of city, and uh, this is a branch clinic which was there in the Bodhnath, and uh, then the next is the Shagar Tuvan Medical Clinic which was established in 1980 by uh, founder the Shagar Amchi, so this is also uh, established by from the monast from the monastic sector because there was a, one monastery called Shagar you know monastery so. It was uh, so. This is sort of a second uh, clinic which was established. So likewise, uh, we have uh, the likewise we have a Himalayan Tibetan Medical Center, which was established in 1996 by uh, Dr. Wang Chuk Lama. Then, uh, then the then uh, in 19 in 2000, you talk uh, Noling or uh, Shokso Menzikang was established in Dolba. Then in 2000, there is another Kangjin Main Kang Service Center, which was established in Dolba, which was supported by WWF. And also in 2000, there was another clinic called Yutok Tuvan Medical Clinic, which was established in Bodo Stupa, which was, uh, which, was, um, uh, which was founded by Dr. Yamzo. 
Then there was uh, another, uh, in 2000 alone, uh, there is another clinic from Shichin Clinic uh, in, near the Bodhanath. It was established or founded by the, His Excellency Dilku Kenzo Rinpoche in, in his in compound of his uh, monastery. So we have uh, Amji uh, uh, Sunam Pamula here. Uh, she's also in the conference this time. And uh, then, then uh, in 2003, there is uh, another uh, hospital called Tibetan Himalayan Medical Project in Humla, uh, which was uh, founded by Pralat Kumar Dag Dagal. Then uh, Tigum Pende Clinic, 2003, which was founded by uh, His Holiness Tizab uh, Yabra Rinpoche. Then in 2004, Yudok Clinic was established in Bota by uh, Dr. Ngawan Gansen. Then uh, uh, Buddha Tibetan, uh, Tibetan Himalayan Herbal Clinic in 2005 by uh, Dr. Uh, Siring Lama. She's also called Amji um, Chugila. She, she was the second batch of the Menzikha. She's one of the oldest uh, Tibetan doctors. Then uh, in 2005, Ningzi Kunpen Clinic in Kwapen Monastery. And uh, <coughs> 2006, Pendi Himalayan Sri Herbal Medical Center in Suyambunat. It was established by Dr. Tenzin Dagya Gurung. So he, the, Dr. Tenzin Dagya Gurung, he is one of the active member of our association. Also, he is the director of our college. And uh, so these are his uh, clinic. Then in 2006, there was another uh, clinic, Kangchung Sejing Menghan, uh, which was established by Dr. Kungo Dashi. Then Kundi Tibetan Medical Clinic, 2006, by uh, Dr. Shira Gelsen, also in Kathmandu. So uh, also the, in 2007, a POV Vision Suri Healing and Research Center, which is established by Dr. Shira Denzin. So he also graduated from Chokburi, uh, from Men uh, Chokburi uh, Medical Institute. Also, he have a healing center in, in some other part of the Nepal. Then the Tango Tara Abe in 2008, which was uh, uh, founded by uh, Tango Rinpoche. Uh, then the Dolphin uh, Tibetan Medical Clinic 2010, which was established by Dr. Ngawan Sangye. Then Maridega Suri Kunpe uh, Shempen Ling, which was established in 2002. <coughs> Then uh, in 2013, uh, Dawi Shunu Tibetan Medical Center. Then, uh, <coughs> then also we have the Menzikhan. So uh, I haven't got the, the exact time when the Menzikhan was established. It was established uh, after Shegar uh, Clinic. So Menzikhan, uh, we have uh, three uh, branches of Menzikhan. One is in, in, in the Kathmandu, in, in the Bodhana Stupa. One is in the heart of city. Then one is in the Pokhara. Then uh, Karma Lake Shelling Monastery Clinic in Swampu. Uh, then Amitava Mountain, uh, which was founded by Dushin uh, Kyamgu Nimbuche. Then uh, Amchi Swari by Herbal Center, in, which was established in 2013 by uh, Dr. Samang Awang Guru. Then Pendi Himalayan Surik Center in Swampu, 2015. So likewise, uh, there are so many sorry for practitioners that we can see at this present moment. <coughs> so in terms of the medical industries, so there are so many uh, private practitioners who make their own medicines. So among them, the, in the Kunpen is the first uh, uh, me medical manufacturer or me me uh, medical you know, uh, uh, herbal center. Then we have the Shekar. Shekar uh, Shagar Medical Industry, which was established in 1980. Then uh, Himalayan med uh, Medicine Industry, which was established in 2007. So likewise, uh, many uh, Swarupa practitioners, they, they are making their own medicines, So, which is a very important part of the Swarupa practice. So uh, <coughs> in terms of the medical schools and institutions in, in Nepal, so uh, Shagar Tibet Medical Institute, uh, this is one of the, the first institutions where uh, Suare was teached. So it was established in 1980, so they have uh, produced uh, more than three batch of students. Then uh, there's a Shi Jargut Medical Center and schools, which was established in 2001. So this is, uh, Jargut is basically in the lower low Mustang. Then there is another Lo Kuen Pen uh, traditional medical school in 2000 in Pokhara. So this is basically, uh, this is a quite in interesting. 
because uh, Lo Kun Pen is uh, is uh, governed by uh, two brothers, Amji Gyasu Bista and Tenzin Bista. So uh, also Amji Gyasu was one of the active members in in Himalayan, you know, Amji practitioners because uh, he have worked tirelessly for many years, and also uh, they have a they have an association called Himalayan Amji Association. So through that association, they have worked so many, you know, uh, so many years that uh, try to get the recognition from the Nepali government, but somehow, you know, uh, they can't really go through. And also, <coughs> this uh, Lok Quinpen traditional uh, traditional medical school, you know, they have got the affiliation of uh, they got affiliation through the uh, CDBT, which is called Central Technical and Edu Central Technical Education and Vocational Training. So in Nepal, there's a uh, you know, department called CDBT, which used to give uh, you know a, a recognition or certificate to certain kind of the the vocational trainings uh, after uh, finishing the class eight. So uh, somehow this Lok Quinpen Traditional Medical School, they got the affiliation in the CDBT. So in order to get the, uh, the affiliation, so one needs to prepare the whole syllabus. So they have designed the, the Durava syllabus and the Kanzimba syllabus, so which was approved by the Nepal government. So this is a very important uh, step that they, they, they have taken. And also there is, uh, so this is another, uh, you know, uh, so they used to teach the students summer in the in the Musta, and lower they used to take down to the Pokhara. And then there, uh, so since uh, in terms of the the practitioners in Himalayan region, so it was basically practiced in Mustang and Dolbo. So also, so do, in Dolbo also they have uh, Dolbo Menzi Kang or Dolbo uh, Amchi School, which was established in 2003. So this is a uh, so also the the middle one. You know we have uh, Amchi, uh, you know Dolbo Amchi, who was the uh, director of this uh, school. Then also uh, there is another school called the School of Four Medical Science of Early Tradition. So this is also uh, very interesting because uh, in so they have been uh, so they have been practicing the Burn religion and they were you know so they have their own since we have uh, two you know uh, texts of the medical texts like Gushi and Bomshi so they are mainly focused on Bomshi and 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 they have their own schools and so they have a uh, whole system of you know. Uh, whole set up of a school where they can study the Bumshi. So it, it so they have been still at the present day they have been practicing since 2006. Then there is another uh, school called uh, Wachra Wahi Healthcare Clinic, King of uh, Medicine Medical School, which was uh, founded by uh, Pakcho Grumuchi. So the, the one who uh, lead the school is the Amchi uh, Urkila. Uh, he's also in the in the Congress. So these are the, the some of the major you know schools in the previous time. So in the course of time, uh, you know, uh, Nepali government also have conducted so many seminars, and also we have conducted so many international seminar as well. So this is one of them. You know, this was organized by Health Ministry of Nepal to upgrade the you know the the skills and the knowledge of the sort of practitioners. So also there, we have conducted so many international seminars. So in 2004, uh, there is a you know international seminar was this is basically organized by AMG's association. Then there is another in 2012, uh, <coughs> another uh, you know <coughs> international conference organized. So during that time, uh, you know some of the important uh, 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 scholars from Tibet could also participate it, so that you can see uh, uh, Amji Wangdula, he's there in the middle. So Amji Wangdula, he is the author of Yusurik, you know, uh, Yudo Konke. So <coughs> also uh, with the with the joint, uh, joint initiative of Surikang and also the Sorabo College, we could also we have also organized two internet seminar. So during that time, uh, the Minsinga director was also there. The Jokuri, you know, director was also there. So this was the third international conference on Swarupa in 2014, and on uh, uh, 16 also we have organized in Nepal, and uh, in this year uh, in Italy in Pisaca. 
So we are also going to organize the, the fifth international conference on Soriba. So these are some of the major uh, you know, international conferences. Also, uh, <coughs> recently, uh, with the jointly uh, with the jointly organization of German Embassy in Nepal, UNICEF, uh, Kathmandu. Uh, so, uh, so we have uh, four different organizers. So, jointly, we have organized another conference in uh, Lower Mustang. So, this was a uh, quite interesting, uh, you know, uh, conference because. Uh, because at that time, uh, you know, German ambassador, he also attended the conference at that time. So in the, <coughs> so it's uh, in in the in, in one of the Nepali newspaper, it came like this, that Ma Marfa. So this was organized in Robo Mustang, the uh, the area, place called Marfa. So Marfa symposium was also attended by German ambassador to Nepal, and the uh, UNESCO representative, and also Christoph, who was the professor of Defense Studies in under the Lumbini University. And so, <coughs> so one of the, the organizers called Nathan Plakta, she said that we intentionally selected the Mafra as the venue because the region has a long-standing history of Tibetan medicine, and we wanted to uh, decentralize away from Kathmandu, where most programs were held. Because uh, many times, uh, because uh, many times, most of these conferences were held in Kathmandu. Also, so they were also quite uh, interested to help the, the Himalayan, you know, uh, the peoples who were practicing, practicing in their own place. Like there was one uh, guy called Gorab. So he, he had done quite, uh, he had done so many research on the recognition of Sauripa in Nepal. So he, he is also a graduate student of University of Hamburg. So he said that one of the reasons of traditional Tibetan medicine did not have a wider reach was the lack of recognition by the government of Nepal. The state health policy is influenced by Western medicine and the natural, uh, natural healing methods are ignored and not appreciated. So this is a history mark. So there are also so many uh, trainings and workshops were also organized. So these are some of the, which was mainly by the, you know, uh, the rural development. So have, they have organized for many years. So these are some examples also uh, in 2011, uh, with the organization of AMG Association, Dr. Bemondoji was also invited to Nepal, also to you know teach the sorry, but <coughs> so these are some of the pictures which highlight the, the you know uh, the trainings which is given particularly from the government side. So if we in uh, in a nutshell, we, one can know that Himal in in terms of Himalayan regions. 90% of the people they were using the Sauripa medicine. Also, in a, yeah, so Nepal was basically you know uh, classified into these three different provinces or locations, like Himal, uh, Bahar, Tarai. So in terms of Himal or Himalayan regions, 90% of the people are using Sauripa medicine. Also, in terms of hilly regions, which including the Kathmandu and the, in the valleys, so 30 to 40 people they have been using the Sauripa medicines. So in, in terms of Tarai, it's a very uh, rare. So even though we have a 10% of the people who are using the Sauripa medicine. So this is an ecological bell that you can see, you know. So having said that, uh, you know, there are so many uh, Sauripa was vibrant in the Himalaya and also in the, <coughs> in the you know, in, in the, in also in Kathmandu itself, we, one can find that more than, you know, uh, 200 practitioners, also clinics, were there. But the, the recognition of Sauripa in the Nepal government is very critical. So because of that, we have worked tirelessly, tirelessly to work with uh, the, you know, the, uh, the various the government levels and also uh, meet with so many peoples. So in a, so after meeting these things, then we know that it's it's very important that you know. So always the in terms of the government, they were saying that you know they need the the qualified and sort of practitioners. So if if you don't have the proper license, then they. So many of our friends were saying that if you if you don't have the proper license, we cannot really help you. So because of that, then we you know worked with the so many experts and then we have uh, get the thoughts of you know uh, establishing the Swaripa college under any of Nepali you know university so for that we worked uh, we talked with so many universities and you know 
But ultimately, ultimately we came to the Lumbini Buddhist University, uh, which was founded in 2004. So Lumbini Buddhist University is a university which uh, aims to preserve the, the Buddhist, you know, the traditions. So Swarupa really fits in that you know, category. So we talked with the uh, Lumbini University, and uh, particularly the <coughs> particularly the, the, the Vice Chancellor of Lumbini University. So this is uh, Professor Dr. Narishman Bhattacharya. So he really, he really helped in you know, getting the recognition in terms of Sauripa College. So he have uh, advice in so many uh, you know, uh, disciplines. Also he really helped us to get the proper uh, recognition. So somehow we, <coughs> we worked with him and to get the proper recognition, the, the first and foremost important thing is the Swa River was not really uh, not included in the Nepali constitution. So in order to first, in order to get the recognition from the university, it's very critical that we have to get a certain kind of, uh, you know, uh, the Swa River itself should be recognized, you know. Otherwise, they cannot really help. So for that, uh, we have, uh, we approach with so many, uh, you know, assembly peoples and also the, so many uh, ministers. Somehow, uh, somehow the, the late, during the, during the time of late uh, uh, Nepali Prime Minister Sushil Korela, so we got the, the cabinet, you know, the decision was taken. So, so this is also, he have, he have also helped a lot. So the cabinet meeting, was, the cabinet board have uh, decided that they, that they have passed the bill to you know uh, the, to recognize the Swari as a system of knowledge. Then only then the Lumini University they could you know give the uh, certificate. So in terms of that, <coughs> so uh, so there is a so it, so we have been always saying that you know Yudok Yundeng Gombo's blessing was always there because we worked in in, in Eugene. Uh, it may not, it's not really, uh, you know, long term. It's just for five years, I guess. So during that time, you know, we worked with so many, uh, we, we approached so many ministers and so many, you know, the uh, parliament members. So this, uh, you know, the, so he is, uh, so do, when we approach him, this is, uh, he is, uh, at that time, he is education minister of Nepal. So <coughs> we approach him and somehow we, uh, we become kind of friends, you know. But then he 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 also have some problem of health issues. So, so we have been giving him the Swarupa medicines, which really helps him. So somehow he got the you know interest, and so that then, because of that, you know, uh, the cabinet board was also approved. Then in the le uh, then you know we have to go to the edge. Uh, so in, then in terms of education, uh, you know, in order to get the recognition from the uni uh, Lumbini Buddhist University. Uh, again, we have to deal with the university, you know, senate. So for that, you know, at that time, again, he was changed. So Nepal politics was not too stable. So again, at that time, he was changed to the, you know, education minister. So it was a very, you know, easy task for us. So it's a definitely blessing of, you know, the medicine Buddha and Yudha in Indian Gombo. And also, <coughs> then we, you know, approach with these kind of these, you know, uh, application. And this is the recognition letter from the Lumini Buddhist University. So for that, we had a preliminary meeting on the establishment of, you know, uh, sort of international college that was is held in April 2015. You know, where we have uh, where we have to, you know, uh, exhibit about the, you know, about the the Swari tradition itself. Then this is the proper, uh, you know handing over of the, the recognition certificate. So he is uh, Dr. Tenzin Darke. He is the uh, director of our, of our college. So along with, uh, with for the, he is the dean of Lumini Buddhist University and uh, and the dean and the Lumini uh, vice chancellor and register. Then also, uh, in order to start the, the main actual uh, curriculum, so we need the syllabus. So for for that also we uh, established a team of uh, textbook <coughs> uh, committee. So where we have worked so many hours, and also we have a uh, so in the end of the day we have a one day workshop to approve that textbook. So it was held in one of the trade World Trade uh, Tower. So this uh, during the process. So the. 
So he is a uh, Dr. Ganesham Guru. So he is the the uh, country director of WWF. He is also a friend of Swaripa, and also he is a very uh, <coughs> he is also an advisor in our Swaripa International College. So these are some of the you know claims that one can see in Lumbini Buddhist University website. So like a one day workshop, one <coughs> one day workshop on Swaripa medicine curriculum development, and also the other thing is during the Senate and uh, Senate meeting at the, the Prime, Minister, Prime Minister's uh, uh, house. So eventually we got the whole full-fledged uh, recognition from Limini Buddhist University. Then uh, we have started the college. So this is uh, during the time of inauguration, which was uh, 25th February 2016. <coughs> so it was uh, so so this is uh, Dr. Ninda Chenaksang. So we have a organization called Suri Kang in Nepal. So he is the, so they have a, there is a organization called Sky Suri Kang International, which was uh, mainly established by Dr. Ninda Chenaksang. So, <coughs> so and, all, and also they have uh, so many uh, different branches all over Europe and also in America. And they say, they used to say that they have this, the branch in five continent. So uh, Swaripa International College is also a sort of a, uh, the project of uh, Sky. So during the opening ceremony, the, <coughs> the Secretary of the Health Ministry also participated and have uh, advised how to get, go further. So this is a, one, this is a, you know, a script from one of the uh, book. A research book on the recognition of Swaripa, where it says that furthermore, this proposed legislation responds to the commonly held stereotype within the Ministry of Health that Amchi practice falls aside the bond of what is even even possible to recognize the legitimate Nepali medical system due to lack of the textual source in Nepali. About this tradition and the lack of a precedent for the level of certification. Uh, Comparable with existing state health and education service. So these are some of the you know uh, <coughs> the conditions that we can flesh in in during the process of the recognition. So this is uh, the the this is the main uh, the curriculum that we are using in in our college. So which is called BSM Bachelor in Surgical Medicine. So. So this was, it comes with the Lumbini University's, uh, you know, <coughs> logo along with its name. So, so now in Nepal, so one can say that uh, in terms of the education sector, it was uh, well established or it was recognized already. Because now, so we are the first, you know, college. So if anybody who wants to open the college, it's very easy now. Because if, if they could, you know, uh, fulfill the needs of the Lumbini University, then they will give the affiliation, and you know, then they have to follow this syllabus. So this is the the the, the first syllabus that we're using. So again, one can do a lot of revision after the, you know, uh, after doing uh, the after going with the syllabus. So in terms of this syllabus, uh, so this is the structure how we are teaching the students. So uh, the B BSM course was basically for uh, four and a half years, and one year internship in total is like a five and five and a half years. So four and a half years is designed in this way. So in every year they have a two semester, so they have to appear for two semester. So in case of the first semester, we have a syllabus like Swarupa history, basic concept in ethic. Then we we put Tibetan language. This is also a, a great step. Because to in 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 Nepali in Nepali context to put a Tibetan language is it's not an easy task. So you know this is a I think this is a great achievement. And then we have an introduction to Buddhism, then the astrology. So this is a, during the first semester students are studying that. Then in case of the second semester we have Suric anatomy and physiology, a diet and lifestyle, pharmacology part one. Then so the good so the the unique you know the the design of this. Uh, Syllabus is that along with the Sauric, uh, you know, study, we have uh, put the, the you know the relevant uh, modern medicine, like in second semester we have the Suric anatomy and the physiology. 
So there is a separate uh, one class is particularly for the modern anatomy and physiology, which was taught by the Nepal you know, Medical College. So the, the professor from Nepal Medi Medical College, they, ha they came to the college and they take the whole semester. Dr. Nimasiri, so you have five minutes only. That's long. <laughs> which, uh, which consists of uh, 75 hours. So likewise, in case of the third semester, we have the pathology, diagnosis, skill, treatment methods, and pharmacology part two. Then again, there is the Western medicine, uh, basic Western, Western medical pathology. This was also taught by the Nepal Medical College professors who, who teach for the MBPS students. Then in case of the first semester, there are, we have the health, preservation, rejuvenation. Then the pharmacology part uh, three, then thera thera like external therapies and plant biology and conservation. This is also a you know relevant topic that we put, and this is also this. So this is the program that we're running now. So this is also taught by the Dr. Ganesham Gurung, who was the country director of WWF. Then in case of the fifth semester, we have like <coughs> pharmacology part four. Uh, compounding of the basifying medicine, then in the ther therapy two, health external therapy, then pathology. So likewise, it was designed for four years. So in the end of the, in the last six years, so, so in a sense that uh, students will finish the whole Yushi in four years. So last uh, half year is, is particularly left for the in conclusion, in Trostman chapter of Four Tantra and Yudo Nyingdik. So we think that this is a very important, and also uh, this was you know, kept in the last. Then there is the pestilential uh, <coughs> disease, like in, from the Mengal Hendel, so which was also include. And also it is very important to know the research methodology these days. So this was also, there's also a separate chapter, 75 hours of chapter for that. Then elective course. So this is the, how the college was functioning. So recently, uh, there was a one another organization called the Swarika Association Nepal. So this is a this is a call. This is basically uh, uh, organized or formed from the from mainly from the college part because the, since our students were you know going to get uh, you know, graduate soon, so they need the council to register. So for that, we are working closely with the Lumini Business University. Also, they have the, you know, they also have the duty to, to get the uh, license for the for those practitioners, and also for the, <coughs> for the college also. So we are working closely with the Nepali government, and we have several meetings, uh, through uh, which there is a you know a high scope that we'll get a Soar Rebo Council in near future. So with this, uh, I end my presentation. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Nimasirina. It's a very good uh, data collection information and uh, informative information. Thank you very much. And I give 10 minutes extra because the beginning we have technical issue. So that's where everybody uh, should be waiting for 10 minutes to have lunch. Uh, I give you a chance for two questions uh, due to uh, timing. Amjila Tristele Shwari, the ni ye tuwa the tanda the tolbut ni Amj choma ruze lai the tang the ni ya tolbe yul targa tar lai jero. Di ni ki tolbe yul lai shiesa the tanda azo payu na yu to yu jo ki tovo kran yin na ki yang shamba ji na kande ji na s. Kazi tanda payu na yu be tovo di yu ay na tanda choma ruze lai the kong ki chung yu jo the ni ni jen ro yu re yu mares. The ni ni kang la kazi ha ko. ตาจีเช่นเดียวจงวันนี้จีที่จะไปจับจงกี่กี่โดตังที่ยิ่งจะโดกันได้จีนั้นที่กันเอ็มจีหลักเช่นเดียวนะจีส่วนนั้นนะ
Okay, so we in the session. Thank you very much. And uh, now this momentary offering to Dr. Nimasarin. <coughs>